Hello, welcome. In this lecture, we are going to create the button and we are going to create the button from scratch. To do this, we have to go to the login screen and first we can use Ctrl and B in order to have a wider view. Now, right after the last test form field, we can have a widget known as sized box. The reason for this sized box is because we want to give a space and we want to give this space vertically. So this is going to be height and we can give this 20. And then we can have a container widget because we want to create this button from scratch container. Now within the container, there is a property known as width. The width will determine the horizontal size of the container. That is how wide the container is going to be. And we can set this to 319. And also within the container, there is a property known as height. The height will determine the vertical size of the container. That is how long the container is going to be. And we can set this to 50. Now, in order to have more access to some properties the container has, we can then have a property which is also found within the container. It is known as the correction. And then we can have the box decoration. And this will give us access to some more properties. Now, within the box decoration, there is a property known as border radius because we don't want the container to be very, very sharp. So we want to make it a bit circular. So we can then have the border radius. Then within it, there is a property known as circular and we can say five. And uh, then again, within the box decoration, there is a property known as gradient. And what the gradient will do is it will allow us to have two different colors in the container. That is, we will be able to give this container two different colors, okay? And uh, this will take in something known as linear gradient. And it will take in list of colors. So this is a list. And the first color, we can use a color code. And uh, this is going to be zero, zero, S, F, F, one, zero, two, D, E, one. And using control and S to save will result to error. I think I made this, okay, correct. Now using control and S to save will result to error. And this is because it is a list and it expects more than one item, or in this case, more than one color. So we have to pass in the other color and color, and it is asking for the value. And this is going to be zero X C C then zero D then six then F F. Okay. And uh, use control and S to save now. And let's see what will happen. Add your comma, add your comma, add your comma. Okay. Hopefully, I did not miss this color code. Okay, I missed it and uh, not this. Let me, okay. This is going to be uh, zero then S, then capital CC, then zero, then D, then six, I think I missed dot, then E, then FF. Okay, great, and this is the color I want, and let's see. Okay, waiting for this, okay, great. Now you can see we have these two colors in just this container and you can see this is the width remember the width will determine the horizontal size of the container 
that is how wide it is going to be and the height determines the vertical size of the container that is how long it is going to be and what we want to do next is within the container there is a property known as child and uh, within it not within the box decoration remember the reason for this box decoration is because we want to be able to have access to some more additional properties such as the border radius the uh, gradient sorry for that just going to get rid of this okay now within the container there is a property known as child and we want to have a test widget which is going to say sign in now use control and s to save and let's see what we will get we should have it over there and we can wrap this with a center wrap with center to do that you simply need to alight and use control and dot okay use control and s to save now and let's see okay we have it over here and we can go ahead and style this a bit and we want to give this a font family also so we can have the google fonts then dot get font and it is asking for the font family and this is going to be latter but you can go ahead and use any font family of your choice and also we want to give a font size of 17 and probably we can make this bold and we can say font width and font width dot bold and use control and s to save now and let's see performing not reload and let's check it over here sorry okay this is it and we can go ahead and uh, change the color we can say colors dot white and let's see okay great great i think we can maybe get rid of this board and see how it is going to look okay waiting for this okay i think this is quite cool and over here we have the enter your email and over here we have the password enter your password and over here we have the sign in button and you can see it is not that sharp because we gave a border radius to the container and we gave a border radius dot circular to make it a bit circular and we gave it five in order not to make it that obvious we can also make it very very obvious and wait for this you can see and i think i don't like this so we can go ahead and use five and also we are using the gradient in order to give the container uh, two colors or more colors okay some skew